how to use Smart Draw. Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Smart Draw. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So here I am in SmartDraw.com. Basically, I'm going to go to the home page. Smart Draw is a web based diagramming tool used by teams to collaborate on and make flow charts, organization charts, mind maps, project charts, and so on, and other business visuals. Okay, uh, Smart Draw has integration and add ons, so Smart Draw lets you add diagrams to Microsoft Office products, including Word. PowerPoint and Excel and Google Workspace applications like Google Docs and Google Sheets. SmartDraw also has apps for Atlassians, Confluence, Jira and Trello and SmartDraw lets users save files to SharePoint, OneDrive, Google Drive, Dropbox and Box. Okay, uh, that's it and also I don't want to forget it, SmartDraw also integrates with Microsoft Teams and can generate diagrams using data from Azure and AWS. Okay, this is a SmartDraw. This is my short intro of the program. Here in the home page, obviously I'm going to talk about the prices. So here I'm going to click on buy and we have two different options. The first of it is to a single user, so you can pay $9.95 per month built annually. So probably this is around $10, so we are going to say the single user is going to pay $10, but it's going to be built annually, so probably you're going to pay 12 months per advance, so you're going to pay around $120, okay? But if perhaps you have a team, you can pay these multiple users. So for around five users, uh, each one of those users is going to pay $8.25. And it's going to be per month, but it's going to be billed annually. This is really interesting about the smart draw. It's like a really cool and advanced tool that you're gonna want it to pay it annually. There are another plans, perhaps if you have a team around 500 people or around a thousand people, but you must to request a code because you need more info about that. Obviously you can write them and they are going to let you know about those new licenses they're gonna offer to you. Okay, this is more draw about the prices. Here we have different diagrams like the flow shorts. We have these and other examples. For instance, I found these really interesting, the schematic diagrams. So you can organize different things and stuff inside your, I don't know, architecture planes and so on. Here we have so much templates. I mean, this could be used for Amazon. This could be used for brainstorming, obviously for education, for engineering to make circuits, to family trees if you want to make family diagrams or genograms, to floor plan, healthcare. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of info, even maps. So you can check this templates tab obviously to know what exactly do you want here you're gonna find different examples of what you're looking so this could be really cool for healthcare a lot of anatomy and so on and you can check more features here inside the website to make your work easier to have the power to make anything you want and be ready for enterprise okay here we have some shortcuts if you want to i don't know like make your flow charts or whatever you need in a faster way and obviously you're gonna obtain professional results and 
don't forget that you can integrate SmartDraw with the tools you use like Word, PowerPoint, Excel, or many other uh, Google Workspace, Jira, Trello, and so on. Okay, uh, here you have some other tabs. I'm not going to check these ones by now. I'm going to click on try it now. And this is going to open a new tab where you're going to be able to use this tool. So, as you can see, here we have the same features and templates. Okay, so I'm going to try with, I don't know, flow charts. It could be the most iconic use of SmartDraw. Here you have different options that you can use. Okay, so you can choose any of these templates. You can use it also like flowchart manual so you're gonna build it from zero or this is two by zero but I mean this is gonna be easier to use so I'm gonna click on it I'm gonna have a new tab again and then I'm gonna show you how it is used so here you have different like shapes that are gonna be useful in your flowchart so the process, or this is the start of the end. So I'm gonna begin with this. This is the start. And here I have the option to, let me see, yeah, to select this one, this shape, and with the arrows of your keyboard, you can, or click in here, you can add whatever do you need. So I'm gonna add some process here, up, up, and here also down, down. I don't know, this could have two different ways. Or here you can uh, split the path. So if you tap Ctrl Z, this is going to work. Don't worry. So here again, I want to split it. So this is it. Okay. Or in this way. Or to the right, whatever do you need. You could join paths if you need. And also you get like add some grids if you need it this could be important to to split the the process and so on i'm gonna click ctrl z and that's it there you have another options you can obviously change the size of any of your shapes or you could do it manually if you need it here we have some other themes to feel, line, etc. etc. And so on. Okay. And that's it. That's how you can use it. There you have some other tabs like design, insert. It's almost like Word. So you, I really recommend you to go in by now and try these different options to edit your flow shorts. And don't forget that you have a lot of of templates to use even if you need it to healthcare there are other like divisions if you want to talk about the neurology basics and so on science and education there are astronomy math puzzle piece diagram and that's it this is an interesting and really useful tool that you really are going to use obviously if you are in the education field but in any of your business this is going to be really useful so this was small draw thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel